Today I'm going to do a video on old word and phrases that we no longer use. Some of them are rather funny, some I remember people using. Bunbury, an imaginary person used in a sentence. Like my Aunt Mary who didn't really exist. To say untrue things about something, someone to hurt them. It's a sad thing. Thrice, it was just another word for the number three. And thrice is many. Some songs have that word in it. Blithering is just talking foolishly. Blah, 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 blah. Just talking foolish words. A person that takes the comfort on rainy days. Just like Gene Kelly. He's a, a libercubulus is someone that reads in bed. I'm sure that I did not pronounce that correctly, but that's a that's a word I've never heard. Ugliography. That means that you have bad handwriting. I always think of a doctor when you see that. Snolly Guster is a politician that seeks personal interests without any interest in helping those that are her, their ex constituents. A barbagarious person is a person that has a beard, mostly men, but I have been told that some women do have one. And eventide is our word for twilight. It's my favorite part of the day, just before the sun sets. A wig chop is an 1800s word for a haircut. Just beat feet was to make a run for it, like when you're running away from the police or you're running away from terror, you're trying to get away. Cruising for a bruising. That's just another word for, I'm just looking for a fight. And sometimes, not good. Daddy-o, that's a word for just a friend. Da Go ahead, Daddy-o. That's a 1950s word. Made in, the shade, made in the shade means that you're well off financially, you're calm, cool, collected, and enjoying your life. N a knuckle sandwich? That's another word for somebody's giving you a, a punch in the mouth. They'll give you a knuckle sandwich. Now, they can say it too. A word from the bird means that it's something somebody told you that you don't believe. So, it just came from the bird. Wet rag is someone that just isn't any fun and it's boring to be around and you'd like to be someplace else. Bust a gut, <laughs> that's just a funny way to say that. It was funny what you read or what you saw and you're laughing very heartily. Clyde was just another word for a jerk. And sometimes these people don't know that they're a Clyde, but we've all met them. A hunk of junk is a bad car that needs repairs or needs to go to the junkyard. We've all seen them. Slimy skin was a way that people used to shake hands. They'd slide the skin just for a short second and then shake hands. What's your bag? It's just another word for what would you like to do? What do you like to do? What are your, in your interests? What's your bag? A fuzz. That's a slang word for a cop in the 60s and 70s. It's not used often. Can you dig it? It just means, can, do you like it? Are you enjoying it? Do you dig it? An old lady used to be a word that the guys used to refer their girlfriend to was their old lady. It's not used too much anymore. Heavy is something that's bothering you very badly and it's heavy on your mind. I still use that sometimes. Let's go to the submarine races. Well, that meant the, that meant your boyfriend wanted you to go with him to the um, 
to a place to make out where nobody see him. Square meant that you dressed like a businessman, not a teenager, and so you weren't in with the group. You were a square. Shindig was nothing but a word for a big party. It's, you know, people still have shindigs, but they don't call it that anymore. Hanky Panky was a man and a woman fooling around, just playing around, usually not doing anything bad. Punch it meant to hit the gas, speed up, hurry up, move it. You know, just punch it, punch the accelerator. The saying, meanwhile, back at the ranch, that meant, meanwhile, back at my house, this was happening. Make the scene. That's just another word to saying, let's go someplace popular. Let's make the scene. She is built like a brick brick house. It just means that she's got a nice um, physical attraction. Don't flip your wig. That means don't get mad. Get even. Don't flip your wig. And over it. The man used to be called, the man was called the cops. They were the man. Watch out for the man. I remember when 10-4 was citizen band talk. 10-4, good buddy. That meant, okay, take a chill pill. That means calm down. Get a life. Get over it. Sit on it was a phrase from happy days, and it meant just get over it, the same thing. Sit on it. Sit on it, Richie. Fonzie said that. A fang factory was your mouth and teeth. Usually they used it when you went to the dentist, as you can see in the picture. Chick was another word or slang word for a young, pretty girl and not accepted anymore. She was a chick. Natalie was doing something unlike everybody else, being good at it, and you did something called Natalie. Preppy was a snobby name for a rich college boy. You know, they wore suits and prep suits and dressed in shoes, all dressed up. I hope you enjoyed this video.